Hey guys, it's Ryan with Fluid Health bringing you another episode of Science Powered Fitness and today we're going to be talking about the polygonal relationships of tension and compression uh, to support the spine in an upright erect posture. So what are the muscles that we use to maintain upright posture? Well, there's polygonal rules in the body and I'm going to show you this uh, on the board here. Basically compressional force and tensional force. So remember when a muscle compresses, another muscle is going to be tensioned. So that's called a force couple. And we see that around joint couplings like the spinal column. So the cervical, the thorax, the lumbar, the, the sacral base, all of those uh, spinal segments need a balance of tension on the front and back side of the body. And so it's important to know what those compressional and tensional forces are when you're managing exercise, right? So how do we stay upright, keep our canister stable before we move that canister around? So main thing is to acknowledge that there's these compressional and tensional relationships. So I'm going to draw a real rough outline of the skeletal system from a side profile. So you got your, again, head here, and I'm going to bring it up here. So you got your head, you got your cervical, thorax, lumbar, and pelvis. And so what we're looking at is these curves. So you got this A curve here, that's your cervical, a P curve on your thoracic, so anterior, posterior, and then another lumbar curve, which is anterior, and then finally sacral base goes back posteriorly. So that's how we maintain our, our spinal segments. And again, these are about 30, 30, 20, 25 ish. And again, we're going to see compressional and tensional forces. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like on the neck. When you're standing upright, remember this is an upright posture. You're going to see compressional on the neck. It's going to be indicated by red. You're going to see compressional on the lumbar, and you're going to see compressional on the thorax, the front of the thorax. Okay, so that means those muscles are contracting when you stand upright. Now, there are other muscles that are going to stretch, these neck muscles and then the upper portion of that thorax. So all of that's going to stretch. Then we've got the thorax on the posterior side. So that whole back side of the column, the thoracic is going to go into stretch. And then we have the abdomen. That goes into stretch. So you can see the different lines of compression and tension here. So polygonal, obviously apexing towards the back there, apexing towards the front, and then once again apexing towards the back. So you have three zones here. You have a zone one, two, and three. Again, tensional compressional right here and then compressional tensional, and then finally tensional compressional. So you can see how they're binary or nominal, okay, back and forth. So the idea, once again, is that as you're standing up, these muscles are going through balances of compression and tension, and if one of these systems is off, so let's say that tensional line is too adaptively short, it's gonna make it harder for you to get compression. And again, if that pulls the neck forward, that can pull this into additional tension. So what we're looking at is the relationships of how these compression tension rolls in each segment act on each other. And this, my friends, is how we maintain posture and how one segment or adaptation of one segment can lead to a change of the structure above or below it. And so that's normally referred to as above the kinetic chain, below the kinetic chain, or if you move in a different plane of motion. So again, just a little bit, tidbit of wisdom here. When we're working posture or movement quality in general, we want to get these polygonal rolls under control, make sure the balance of tension is maintained to support these joint positions, and then we leverage the adjoining segments like the shoulders and the hips to move the limbs in an appropriate way. So we always start with the segmental control of those spinal segments. So questions on this, reach out to us, admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. Once again, polygonal relationships for upright, erect posture. Learn it, love it. Your body's designed to move. Stay in motion. We'll see you soon.